DA candidates accepting their nominations. They are now ready to campaign for the upcoming local government elections. The five candidates have all committed themselves to ethical leadership and bringing better service delivery. During the 2016 elections, one of the DA's success stories was their victory in the North Mandela Bay. It got 46.7% and formed a coalition government, taking power from the ANC. Despite the success, it has not been smooth sailing for the party in this metro, primarily because of coalition politics. DA leader John Steenhazen says they are willing to go into a coalition with any party that aligns with the party's values. That we are willing to work with any party in South Africa, any party in South Africa, provided they share the same core values and principles of, as ours. Four key values and principles. Non-racialism, respect for the rule of law and the constitution, a social market economy, and bringing and building a capable state by making sure that you have the right people in the right positions for the right reasons. We will work with any parties that want to achieve that and that share those values and principles. I think what we learned over the course of the last five years, that when parties do deals with you, but they don't share your values, that it always ends in tears. Nelson Mandela Bay is one of the highly contested metros at this year's elections. The DA is keen to win it again, but victory will not come easy. The metro is faced with several challenges, such as the current water crisis. The ratepayers and the, the residents, they want to see change in their lives. And I'm so proud that um, we have turned the city to a construction site. We can go wherever, we're building roads, electricity, and also um, maintaining our infrastructure. We are attracting investors who come uh, to our city, have established good relations with business. That's what people want. Uh, that's what people vote for. And two, we have to make sure that we bring back good governance. We must not eradicate corruption, we must stop corruption. And therefore it is uh, what we're doing. Another tightly contested metro is Gauteng. And even here, the day is hoping for an outright majority. In the 2016 local government elections, the day lost to the ANC, garnering only 38,4% of the votes. Dr. Mpo Palazzi says, She's capable of leading this metro. You can have big ideas, but if you don't have the right governance framework to sustain those ideas, that's all there will be. And I believe that I have the skills, the qualifications, the experience to bring that to the table. The Democratic Alliance says it's ready for the upcoming elections and it will launch its election manifesto soon. Lerato Fekisi, SABC News, Abeja.